Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your September 2021 messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Scorpio. Remember these are mainly messages, advice, guidance, Scorpio and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. One more shuffle I think. So first message from Spirit, please. Angel Spirit's Guides for Scorpio for September. Okay. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Nice energy. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Scorpio for September 2021. We have let go of the old. Interesting. We've got let go of the old and we have new beginnings. It's almost like with that peacock, you're being told to spread your wings, you know? Spread your wings and fly. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, thank you. Panda, stay balanced and in your essence. Archangels Mary, Jophiel and Sandalphon. Nice energy, Scorpio. Let's pull some cards and see what we get for you. So starting with the message from Spirit, please. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Message from Spirit for Scorpio, thank you. Message from Spirit for Scorpio, thank you. September 2021, okay. Two of Wands. The World. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Scorpio. Um, the world card is to do with a major completion. Completing of a cycle is generally where you're ready to step through to a new phase of your life. This is a card of successful completion because within this cycle, you have learned, you have grown, you have experienced everything, you know, that this life cycle has wanted to teach you. And now is the time to step forward to a new phase of your life. There is a kind of feeling here about breaking out of a boundary, breaking out of you have the opportunity to complete a cycle. Nevertheless, it feels in this energy it's to do with a choice on whether you stay within this cycle or whether you step onto a new one. Uh, because sometimes the, the two of ones can be an energy of do I, do I stay or go? You know, do I stay where I am in the comfort and security of my fortress here or do I step forward into the unknown? And this person is making some choices about their future. This is somebody who has experienced everything that they can where they are. And this person is ready to step into the unknown by an empowered energy of fire. So the wand, fire, action, potential, growth. Where do I see my life evolving now? And taking steps towards that, having no fear of this new beginning and being ready as the world is right below. It's interesting how the cards are laid out. The world is right below, let go of the old. So I feel some of you are ready to break out of the mold, push the, break out of your comfort zone maybe in some way. The Queen of Pentacles is very good in terms of money areas. She is, she may well be somebody, male or female person in business offering you something can be in terms of opportunity, 
Scorpio because she holds the golden pentacle. So there could be some leader in business that you're, that you're connecting to that's presenting you with some kind of choice this month. This might also be if you have had or experienced any health areas or health issues. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is a card of nurturing and recovery and healing. So again, for some of you, maybe there is some choices and decisions that you're making, having, because you're now ready to complete a cycle that may have been testing, but you are successfully bringing something to a completion and being ready to make choices about your future now. The Six of Cups is to do with, uh, it can be somebody from the past, it can be a soul connection. So again, could be you're, you're making choices to do with somebody, uh, something that you see a value, stable, secure, growth potential here. Um, but there's also an energy here, Scorpio, of connecting to your roots. Uh, so it could be to do with, there could be something to do with family, your uh, your roots this month. It could be to do with a place that you've been before is significant to you. It might well be for some of you that uh, you you might be going back somewhere. You know, you might be choosing to return somewhere or go back somewhere that you might have worked or go back to a place. And, and that allows you to, you know, a place where you've been before. And again, there could be some opportunity being presented to you. However that is, this is to do with uh, can be to do with revisiting the past, a person, a place, your roots, your family connections, and so on and so forth. So for some of you, you're at the gateway. You are at this threshold of, do I stay where I am or do I push my boundaries now? And do I embrace some kind of new beginning? The universe is saying life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. So the message is stay balanced and in your essence, but there is absolutely an energy to spread your wings and let go of the old. Because for you, it feels like new possibilities are open to you and there's some kind of something is presenting you with a choice again. And I feel it's whatever this Queen of Pentacles is offering you. Um, very significant energy here, Scorpio. Lovely reading, lovely reading. Final message for Scorpio. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look what I have. Spread your wings. <laughs> you know, spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you, number 13. Oh my goodness, Scorpio, that's a significant message for you. I was even channeling that even, you know, even before that card came out. We have, we are easing the blockage, which is holding you back. Go for it, number 14. And it's interesting, I've got 13 and 14, which is take the step. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.